Hey guys, in today's quick video we'll be having a look at the BC216 SPI Artnet uh, digital uh, DMX controller kind of thing. It's universal. So it's got um, 16 SPI outputs, two DMX outputs, Ethernet in, dual power supply in. It's a device uh, that's uh, used to control um, small LED screens or DMX fixtures. So here it is, we're going to be looking inside the device. So there's plenty of videos of reviews on the device itself. So I, th uh, I thought I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look what's inside it and how it's made, its topology. So it comes in the box with a small instruction manual for it. There's not much to it, just a couple of pages how to connect it. Then there's the device itself. I've already taken liberty of taking the all necessary screws out to have a look, uh, to, well, to save time unscrewing it. So there's the device itself. In the back, uh, we have two DMX um, outputs, which is, they, they are the same. So it's DMX1, those two, and DMX2, so you can choose whether to use XLR or wide. We've got Ethernet port for ArtNet. We've got two uh, power supplies. Uh, also, be careful, it's not uh, two as in one and two, it's actually one and two. So, as you can see, yeah, one and two. So, they're skipping through one. On this side, we've got uh, 16 of those connectors. Usually, you use uh, three of them. You use positive um, data and ground. Sometimes the LED strips will require a clock, but in my case, I've got. Um, WS1112B, um, uh, uh, so they only three pins. Now let's open it up and have a look what's inside. So that's already, um, screw's been removed, so we'll pull that out. And what do we see? Not much, at least it's actually fused. So I'm glad to see every single channel is fused. The main power supply um, coming in, uh, the two of those are common to ground, so it's DC1, DC2, and they run through the whole thing. It's just common. The second one, they are common to, uh, after the Schottky diode, so as you can see, let me get something to point with. Okay, so as you can see, DC1 and DC2 coming in. Uh, into those D1 and D3 and then they come together and that's the power supply for the logic So we'll get to that in a second The other thing is under the board it took it would I did not take the board out because it's soldered to the contacts And it would be a nightmare to um, get that board out of there. So as you can see those blobs here Let me zoom in so you can see those two blobs here that's connected to the wires that run underneath and you can also see those blobs here so right here, and the second one is right here as well. That's where those wires run to. However, they uh, what I've noticed is a bit confusing. The DC1 supply runs to the um, out 9 through to 16, and DC2 power supply runs through to LED strips 1 to 8. So it's a bit confusing. If you're not using as many LED strips, you would assume you'd connect um, DC1 because you're only running half of the LED strips and you'd find no power on those outputs. And the power would be on those last eight outputs. So just keep that in mind. If you're connecting and it's not working and you're only running one power supply, that's what's happening. So even if you're running you know, half of the strips, uh, you can common those contacts together. So what else do we see? We've got five amps fuses per channel. Then we've got the standard um, two satellite boards. One is with the buttons, nothing else. I uh, don't trust those buttons, to be honest. The other one's got a simple serial display that I've already unscrewed, and we can pull that out. So just a simple standard display. You can actually put different colors if you want in. So what do we have here? We have the main processor, which is the ARM, and it's a STM32, um, F407. From here, it just separates. We've got um, two chips here for DMX. Uh, that's the RS422, I think, I believe, or 485 data chips. This is the circuitry that supplies the main power supply. We've got Ethernet controller here with a massive crystal for 
this crystal is bigger than the chip itself. So that's the Ethernet control. That's DMX. That's covered. Uh, then underneath we got uh, we got here four of I believe that's an octal um, uh, transceivers. Yeah, they octal transceivers. So each transceiver is handling four channels. Uh, there's four transceivers. A couple of fuses, well, fuses, resistors, and that's that's it to it. There is not much else in that device. So the screen again, you can, uh, it comes usually with that film. I'm going to peel it off because that makes it ugly. And you, yeah, it's really hard to do without, with the lead on. So while that's off, plug that back in and let's have a look what it looks like without that factory film. That looks heaps better. Yeah, that definitely looks heaps better. So that's what's inside this BC216 uh, 16, 16 channel controller. So there's again, there's a BC208, I believe it is. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but uh, that's meaning. So two is, um, I believe is two DMX outs and uh, 16 meaning the 16 SPI outputs uh, or in the other cases, two DMX and I think eight SPI or four, one of those two. So that's what's inside it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And we do have a giveaway coming up in December. On 27th, there will be a live raffle draw where you can win yourself an oscilloscope. There's another runner-up will be winning a Hantech uh, computer-based scope and a small component tester. Thanks for watching. I'm Max. Bye.